Please hang up now. This is a recording. Please hang up. Good morning. I'm calling to inquire about the house you are offering for sale. My wife and I were wondering if it might be possible to see it this afternoon. Contact me at 499-1895 and tell me if this is good for you. We have our own car, so we'll meet you there. Thanks. possible to see it this afternoon. Contact me at 499-1895 and tell me if this is a good time for you. We have our own car, so we'll meet you at the house. Thanks. You see, the reason I insisted on driving you out myself was that it's a little out of the way. You would have had a hard time finding it, believe me. Is it a quiet neighborhood? Oh, you bet it's quiet. At night, you can hear a pin drop. Seriously, a pin. Now, in some of the neighborhoods I've seen, you might hear a hubcap or two drop, but in this one, all you're going to hear is a pin. And not a grenade pin, either. <laughs> yep. It's as safe as a crib. They haven't had a thief since they caught a milkman stealing a rose from a bush. And that was 10 years ago. So what I can tell you is that I've sold a lot of houses, and this one is like nothing you've ever seen. Hand-built by the owner's father, so you know that it's had love built into it. A lot of love. Is it well constructed? Oh, it's built like a castle. Though if you want a moat and a drawbridge, it will cost you extra. Seriously, I've seen a lot of young couples like yourself, starters, and this is just the sort of nest you're looking for. Believe me. Look out! Hi. Hi. Uh, mister, I don't know if you noticed this, but you almost ran me over with your car. Now, I'm not the type of guy who would normally make a big case over something like my life, but it is the 17th time that it's happened to me today, and I'm, it's beginning to bother me. So, uh, look, if you want to run people over, that's your business, but if you want to run me over, I think you better consult me first, okay? Are you trying to say that you want to run me over? Is that what you're saying? Because if it is what you're saying, I think you're sick. Okay? Now look it, everyone tells me that I'm crazy just because I get mad at people. Well, at least I'm not lonely. I mean, if I was lonely, I wouldn't be talking to strangers, would I? Now look it, uh, you know why you're a stranger? It's because you're strange, okay? And uh, I think that uh, what right have you got to treat me like a used tea bag? Now come on. I'm not that used to driving in the city. I don't come here that often. The crowds, they bother me. Here. 
Isn't she a beaut? Do you do much gardening, Maureen? Because there's one hell of a garden in the back of this place. The woman who lives here is a magician with plants. A real magician. We had a bit of a problem with the window. just telling Maureen about your green thumb. Oh, yeah. Do you garden, Maureen? No, not really. I, I mean, we have a few ferns around the apartment. No, I don't. Uh, why don't you take Maureen out and look at the garden, and I'll give Michael a tour of the house. Would you like to see the garden? Sure. Son Michael. What do you do with yourself? I work for an advertising agency. I'm a senior creative director. Is that right? I thought I might have seen you somewhere before. What do you mean? Oh, um, running across the street, keeping an appointment, something. I remember you. I thought you said you didn't get to town. Oh, I don't. Sometimes business takes me that way. You know how it is. You travel a lot too, I bet. Been to Mexico? Yeah, once. Did you like it? Yeah. Look, aren't you going to tell me something about this house? Sure I am. Just keep your pants on. I'm afraid that Frank has a tendency to exaggerate. It's all right, though. It's part of his job. This used to be quite a lovely spot, actually, before they built all around it. The house was built by my husband's father just after the First World War. We moved here as soon as we were married. There were woods here then. Now all that's left are these trees. And we had to fight to save them. I've tried growing things, but without any sun, all that lasts are the weeds. And a few bushes here and there. Wonderful soil, though. See how rich it is? Yes. Oh, 
So how long have you been working at this place? Eight years. And what is it you do? As I said, I'm a senior creative director. No, but I mean, like, what does that mean you do? I generally keep my eye on things. From a creative point of view, I oversee things. Uh-huh. How about your wife? Does she work? No. She looks after the family? Yes. There used to be a vegetable patch over there and a rose bush right beside it. Oh, and all along that wall, we had the most wonderful assortment of flowers, all types and colors of lilies. They used to bloom around this time of year. It must have been very nice. Yes, it was. Very nice. How long have you been married? Almost three years. Do you have any little ones? No. We want to wait until Michael's more settled. <clears throat> what does he do? Well, he's just started working for an advertising company in town as a copywriter. He's only been there a month. part-time secretary. Just temporarily, I hope. We used to live with my parents, but my father and Michael didn't really get along. That's why we're looking for a new place. We wanted to find an older house and then renovate it. So that you could call it your own? That's right. My husband worked very hard on this house especially after his father died. He totally redid the interiors. You wouldn't recognize them from the way they were. He didn't get very far beyond that, unfortunately. He had an accident. He was very proud of this house. Is your husband still alive?
this this is just a storage place. Mr. Adarian. One tea bag left. <laughs> I'll be right back. Now, what you take in your tea, Marie? Two spoonfuls and some cream, please. All right. Hello. Is that right? No, 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 no that's fine. The down payment will be fine. As long as we keep the arrangement as we discussed before. And you, Michael? I... Great! That's really good news. I told you that you'd love it. Sure. Uh, how about I pick you up in an hour? All right? See you then. Are you enjoying your new job? Do I ever have some bad news for you two? Somebody just bought the house. That was them just now on the phone. Oh, now isn't that a shame? I tried to tell them that these people were interested, but they wouldn't hear a word of it. They were dreaming about it all last night, they said. Oh, well, these things happen. What'd you take in your tea, Frank? Uh, look, I hate to say this, but I'm going to have to take a rain check on that Mrs. Adarian. I have to be getting back downtown. I'd be happy to give you two a ride, but we really should get going. But they haven't had their tea. I told them that I'd meet them in an hour, and I'll be lucky if I make it even if I leave right now. It's rush hour. It's been a pleasure meeting you. It's so nice meeting young people just starting out. Thank you very much. It really is a shame. I'm sorry it was such a waste of time for you. I admit I feel a little embarrassed about all this. It happens though. Bad timing. What, uh, what did you think of the house anyway? Was it what you were expecting, more or less? I thought it was very nice. You could tell that so much love had gone into it. And when Mrs. O'Darian told me that her husband worked so hard on it, I was very impressed. He must be very proud of it. He's built quite a castle for himself. What, uh, 
What did you think of the house, anyway? Was it what you were expecting? More or less? I thought it was very nice. You could tell that so much love had gone into it. And when Mrs. O'Darian told me that her husband worked so hard on it, I was very impressed. He must be very proud of it. He's built quite a castle for himself.